Hi, I'm Nikki Creel, and I'm delighted to have James Wedmore with, here with me today. Well, not literally, we are across the oceans from each other. I did one of J James's um, Video Traffic Academy uh, course, and I was blown away. It was at the point where I thought, I really need to get to know a little bit more about YouTube, and it's absolutely brilliant. And I'm thrilled that James has actually agreed to, to have a chat to me about video and why businesses should be using it. Yes. Hello, yes. James. Hey, Nikki. Thanks for uh, having me. I'm excited. Good. So, uh, with businesses, so many small businesses haven't started using video yet. Now, I know you're a video person and you went to video school, film school. So, for you, it's already a done deal using video. But yes. if people haven't started with video, why do they really need to be considering video right now? There's there's a lot of reasons, and I'm going to blow everyone's minds right now, but I think the big picture concept to look at is that, you know, for the last couple of years, since about 2008, 2009, everyone um, and their mother has been talking about social media, and you've got to get on Facebook, and it's Twitter this, and now it's Google Plus, and all that stuff, and uh, people resisted that, fair enough, you know, people resisted it, and people are really just starting to come around, here it is, it's the end of 2011, not to date the interview or anything, but people have really started to come around, oh, I get this, oh, people are getting results. However, the problem has been that people do not see, have not seen YouTube necessarily in that same category as social media. They think as, it, as a place where, you know, Justin Bieber fans hang out and little kids, um, you know, watch, watch funny videos or your coworkers at work who are bored go and get distractions of the day and send funny videos and goofy things of people doing hilarious stuff. Um, that's, that's a part of YouTube, and that still exists and will continue to exist. However, with YouTube being the fact that it is the third largest website in the world, it's considered the second largest search engine behind Google. It's owned by Google. Its videos get ranked inside of Google's search result pages. There is a lot of opportunity for you to be leveraging YouTube for traffic generation. Okay, and I think the other big thing is that I myself still get frustrated with social media, and I know a lot of clients of mine that do, small business owners that do, they say, I'm on Facebook every day, and I'm tweeting every day, and I don't see anything. It sounds like everybody's talking, and nobody's listening, and YouTube is the one social networking site that changes that, because when you create a video, and you get views. You know, if you were to look at a video that you have online and you have 100 views, which may not be a lot, but those are 100 people that made the conscious decision to listen to you. And when everyone else is doing this all day long, uh, you know, about what they ate for breakfast or what they're doing for dinner tonight and all that stuff, uh, you're the one person sharing valuable content in a form, you know, video that can be easily shared, reshared, and distributed over these social networking sites. So, um, I mean, I could go on and on forever, um, but uh, it's, it's, you know, there's just so, much, so many results that we see and people inside our group see from it that uh, it would be crazy not to be using video now that we move into 2012. I think my attitude, I was blown away in the course when you, you talked about being a community Mm -hmm. Because I hadn't thought of yeah. YouTube being a community, and now, I mean, in the recent changes, it's far more obvious as a community. It's quite exciting. Yeah, I'm kind of walking around going, I told you so. To <laughs> Your platform. Yes. Rather than just posting videos. So I, I'm, I'm actually very thrilled about it. So, I mean, what's the advantage, say, of video versus written? Um, I, I tend to be a blogger, so I'm Oh, good. Um, so, what's the advantage? Or, the advantage is, because I'm not going to knock blogging, or and, and let's not look, you know, depending on who you are, some people have, you know, blogging connotates the, oh, I'm going to journal my life and my feelings and stuff, and that's not blogging, that's what it used to be. You know, as a business owner and a marketer, it's, it's you keeping your finger on the pulse of your industry, what's going on with trends, and, and, and giving valuable content, because you know that people are coming to the internet 
looking for content. So you're going to share that content, and that's going to get you traffic. So uh, I'm not, I would never knock blogging, and I do it myself every single week, twice a week, and I, I see incredible results every time I submit a new blog post. The advantage that video has over blog posts is really the fact that you just get to add video to your blog. So just about every single blog post I write, video just becomes an additional component. So it's almost like writing a blog post and not putting any pictures on the blog. It's the same thing. You put a video on there and it just spices it up. So what I like to do is start with a video, share you know, the three secrets to this or the five steps to that in the video, just like we're in a video right now, and then the blog post below it will detail out the content that's found inside that video with additional insight. What you're going to find out, guys, is that some people like video more and some people like text and reading more. And if you can include both of those mediums, both those modalities for people, you've just engaged twice as many people in your, as in your audience. Well, I know that I'm probably going to do the reverse of what you do because you video blog and then you write mm -hmm. text, whereas I'm going to go, part, go to my past blogs and probably create them into video. I like that. See, that's that's smart, and I, I, I support that 100%. So it's a slightly different tag, but um, obviously video can take a bit, quite a bit of time, so is it worth spending that time? It can take a lot of time, and um, so I have, two, I have two arguments for that. The first one is that um, what I focus on and where, where my gift, and I, I really you know try and share that with people as much as possible, is to make content, video content, that looks professional and high quality, yet is still simple enough that it doesn't take a lot of time. Because I'm a person that values my time more than the average person. And so I personally do not want to be doing anything that's wasting my time. So there are ways to make an efficient, systematic approach or strategy towards your video creation process. And we can talk about that. Um, in a second, I'll, I'll go into that. But the second argument I'll say is this, is if I have Facebook over here and I have YouTube over there, and on Facebook I need to write a post update, you know, like ask a question or give a motivational quote or something like that to be engaging on Facebook, how long is that going to take me? It's going to take me maybe 30 seconds at the most, while this video over here is going to take me, you know, could take me a total time of an hour and a half. So we have 30 seconds and we have an hour and a half of our, of our lives. So here's the, the, the change out. First off, when you submit that thing to Facebook, that update status, it's there, it's on people's live feed, and then by the end of the day, it's gone. You put a video on... A few hours. Yeah, a few yeah hours. You, really, you really do. You put something on, on YouTube and it's there for life or as long as YouTube's going to be around and trust me guys it's not going anywhere anytime soon so the magic then becomes when this when this little thing I gotta use my visuals my hand to, when you put this little thing out on Facebook saying hey you know here's my favorite motivational quote that keeps me motivated you put that out there and it, and it dissipates it disappears and it's gone it's gone a few days later at, at the latest right you put this on YouTube it's gonna be there forever however once it's on YouTube, you can start applying certain tactics and strategies to build it up so that every time someone searches for your keywords, they're searching for you, this video gets found every day. So the longer this stays on YouTube, the, it's, like, it's like a fine wine. With age, it just gets better and better. While on this thing, Facebook, it's gone, and then you got to do it again the next day. So that's how I look at it. Because yes, this will take longer, but you'll also yield a greater return if you can see the big picture. Does that, does that make sense? Yeah, that makes a lot of awesome. sense. Awesome. Because I, I'm aware, but I mean, video, you can do video quite quickly. For example, this interview that <laughs> we're doing. Yes, yes. Creating video. And I'm sort of like, this is me sort of with video. I know you, you're used to it, but I've got a flip camera and I'm just getting used to doing silly little things, things just to get used to sort of being, being on camera. And, and you'll, you'll evolve, too, where I see my first videos. I mean, if you do some homework, you'll find some of my first videos back in about 2008. Uh, <laughs> and they were pretty embarrassing. So you, you get better uh, as you go. That's the magic thing. So real quick... You know how can, how can we make videos um, without it being too much time? 
the best strategy, and it's so funny because I always knew this strategy and I've always implemented it myself, yet when I interview other experts, other people who are using video effectively in their marketing, I want to learn more about how they're doing it, every single one of them comes back to me on their, their own, you know, I didn't even ask them, they just say it outright themselves, they, they say the same thing. They say, when we create videos, you know, if we want to create a series of 10 videos, we do it all in one afternoon. You block out a day and you make all your videos at once. It's like multitasking. If anyone's ever told you that multitasking isn't efficient, they'd say, you know, you can't be checking email while you're on the phone, while you're signing a contract and doing this and all that. It's you, you, your energy is just totally dispersed, you're unfocused, and you end up taking longer. However, if you if you dedicated two hours just to answering emails, you're going to get so many done. It's the same thing with videos. So you create a shot list of the 10 videos that you want to make on the topics uh, that you want to address, on the questions that people are asking, on the things that you know people are searching for to find you. That's keyword research. That's kind of another topic, but we can we can bring that up as well. And then you want to make 10 videos all at once. If you want to change your clothes every video, make it look like you're in a totally different outfit, you can. I don't even care to go that far, but I, you know, I, I'll hire my videographer for the day. He just shoot, presses the record button. I look at my list and I go, all right, number one, boom, 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 boom. Number two, boom, boom, boom. You know, you do a few, you take a break, you go down. Then you've got a whole batch of them. I choose a separate day about a week later to start editing them all. Now I have 10 weeks worth of content and I don't have to do that again for 10 more weeks. I actually do probably more about 15 to 16 videos, but you guys get the idea. Yeah. I know I've tried shooting a bit of video with a, video, uh, a videographer, and mm -hmm. it's draining. <laughs> it's like it's yeah. hard work, but I guess you get used to it and you get more efficient, so you don't have as many retakes and you're more prepared for, for, the, for the video. Yeah. So, you know, it, it it well it's definitely draining. It's draining to me um, as well. It can it can be draining to anybody, and and, and it's, I think it's just important for us to both say that to everyone who's listening to say that it's okay. You know, like you're not supposed to be, um, you know, a movie star where this is what you were born to do necessarily. Even though some people are like they love being in front of the camera. Let's admit it. You know who you are. Um, but uh, if you if you stop focusing on you and what you're going through and how nervous you are and how many times you mess up and you focus on I've got this brilliant piece of information and I know that if I get it out there to the right people that it's going to make a difference in their lives that stuff starts to go away a little bit and I mess up I've probably already messed I mean I'm like drinking water in the middle of the video and you know it's not going to be perfect um, and it never is video. I guess I've heard you, your phone go off Oh, yeah. Oh, totally. Oh, my gosh. Uh, I mean, and... <laughs> oh, I've, I've made plenty of mistakes, but... Um, and I, and I, was, I was very nervous, and for a while I couldn't even watch my own videos and all that stuff. But if you come from it at that angle of, I just need to focus on getting this content out. Because look at it this way. Let's say um, your best friend comes to you in desperation, they take you out to lunch, and they say, I'm, I'm, I'm broke, I'm penniless, I need help, T uh, tell me, you know, how, how you can help me, what, it, you know, give me any advice, some wisdom on whether it's business, marketing, or what you do in your business, and they were sitting across from you at a coffee shop or at lunch, what would you say to them? And would it matter if every word that came out of your mouth had an um or awe ah in it, or you hesitated a little bit, or you stumbled, or said, wait, 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 let me, let me rephrase that. You know, we all make mistakes, and um, but but as soon as you know you have someone in need who's just like, just tell me how I can get back on my feet, or how how I can do this in my business, or how I can do that, you're gonna you're gonna jump into action and help them. All that other stuff goes away. So that's that's kind of how I focus on it, and that helps me. I think it, that really helps because I know when I write, I write for as I'm talking to somebody, whereas I suppose with video, I'm thinking, oh, yeah. Double chin. <laughs> oh gosh, yeah, yeah. And, and people think, oh, it's you know, it's it's on video or it's on the picture, so it's there. I'm I'm you know, it, it, it immortally like you know on camera and like it's gonna be there forever, and anybody could look at me. And people are too busy dealing with their own lives to analyze and judge you. So 
I just say go with it. Plus, you're so many. I mean, that's the last thing I'll say about on this topic. But so many other people are going through the same resistance and negative thinking that you are, that your competitors are not going to be doing this. And that's why I say jump on it, because your competitors don't want it. They're too afraid. Well, I know I've set a goal for 2012 of one video a week. Yes. Google, Google domination. I've got a Google domination yeah. plan. <laughs> I, I love that. Um, and and if you if you don't mind, I'd like to go off on that tangent. One of the things, uh, I join a, a mastermind of really smart marketers every single year, and it's it's the only reason I am where I am right now is is being able to look uh, and work with and just just be around people that are smarter than you, that have walked the path that you're walking, who just you, you know they don't and even they don't even have to be smarter than you, but they have more experience, they have more wisdom, and. I am always reverse engineering and analyzing why are you here and, and what, what made these people successful while those people are still not successful. And one of the big themes that I see every time I go to one of these events with all these smart people in the room, the one consistent factor is the fact that um, they, the, the word is actually consistency. And they're consistent in their efforts, they're consistent in their marketing, they're consistent in all of their actions. So what I mean by that is a lot of people, and you guys might be like this as business owners where all this stuff is still new, you know, social media and the internet, it's all still very new. And so, so you might hear someone like Nikki or someone else say, hey, do this or try this or make a Facebook fan page or do video. And you say, you, come, you do it and you come back and say, I did it, it doesn't work. And that's actually where the problem lies, is, is that video especially and a lot of other stuff like blogging and just social media in general, it's about consistency. It's about a consistent effort. Can you do it once a day or once a week or once a month you know, without fail? Just stay persistent. And if you look at the big picture, you take a step back and realize what the end goal is, that keeps you motivated to keep going. But that's when the results start to come in. It's not after week one or week two, but it's after week 20, week 30, but then the results compound on top of each other and you're like, oh, I'm glad I stuck with this. So just kind of keep that in mind. I like to say that consistency creates momentum for you in your business. So, yeah. I, I, one of the things I keep on saying is that social media is a marathon, not a sprint. You know, yeah. And often takes far bigger dividends than, you know, people talk about campaigns and I hate idea of a campaign because that's like a short burst of activity yeah. and then nothing. Exactly. Um, that's a so that's a really good point. Even, even one tweet today or one Facebook update today is better than not not doing doing anything. I absolutely. Absolutely. But anyhow, you I don't want to keep it any longer because mm -hmm. I know it, the point is to have short short videos. Oh yeah, yes. <laughs> Well, I'd love to chat to you all the time. I've got tons of things I'd love to ask you, but I will leave it at that. Now, if you, I mean, I'm sold on your Video Traffic Academy, and I'd highly recommend it to, him, to everybody. Um, and partly, and I think main, the main reason is, is the price is ridiculous. Really. Yeah. It's a ridiculous price, but there's just so much value value in it. And it's one of these things that you almost want to keep as a secret to yourself. <laughs> I love that. I didn't want to tell people about it because it's like, you know, it's sort of my, you know, my things that I know, but obviously, you know, it's, it's good to share it and be able to share that, the, the wisdom of what you've accumulated as well. Yeah. And it's been really useful for me to just be able to give some people to hints and tips of what, you know, what they can do. So I'm going to put the link on this, like I'll, I'll try and put an overlay on, I mean, I will do an overlay mm -hmm. link if I can get your, if, you know, it's the first time I'll have done the overlay thing properly. See if I can follow your instructions properly, and uh, there will be a link below below this video. So if you click on that link, then you can get <laughs> right down there. <laughs> yes, right down there. So you click on the link, and it will take you straight to your video traffic academy course, which I'd recommend. Um, and otherwise, how can we get hold of you? Um, my blog, uh, I'm on there, and uh, you can go find me at jameswedmore.com, and. Uh, Got a ton of great posts and information on there for you. Um, but obviously, we have the Facebook group, which is a part of Video Traffic Academy, and that's that's the easiest way to get a hold of me. Um, and that's how Nikki and I were able to set up this interview. Uh, she hangs out and participates in the group along with, there's over a 1,000 members in there. And um, 
you get access to that group where you can share your videos, get people to uh, comment, subscribe, give you feedback on your content, and help you grow uh, as a video marketer, as a business owner. And uh, it's just it's just been such an awesome experience to see everyone in that group. So I want as many people to be a part of that as possible. So. Um, yeah, so Video Traffic Academy is, uh, of course, it's it's ninety seven bucks, so it is a it is a great great price for it. It's, it's a very 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 reasonable. I'd be surprised if it's like why more people have to take this up, maybe because they don't know about it. So. That's probably what it is. <laughs> <laughs> they just don't know about it yet. <laughs> yes, they don't know about it yet. So you know, it's, sort of, it's really worthwhile, and I know I've just took a little bit of this time. In fact, I did most of it over a weekend. Watching it, but I'm a little bit fanatical about these things. But I know I need to go back and watch watch most of these again, uh -huh. just to make sure that I've got absolutely everything I can out of it. But thank you very much for your time, James. I've really enjoyed it, and I think it's valuable content. So thank you. Yeah, thank you, Nikki, and thank you, everyone. Uh, talk to you soon. Take care.